it's our last full day in Taiwan today and we are back at the Hello Kitty 7-Eleven to get some breakfast. Today's itinerary is pretty chill, it's just mostly shopping. The goal kasi, of my cousins is to buy from GU, so we're gonna go there first. And then I think we're gonna try to go to Watson's one last time so I can get some soap. I do love me some, some Sanka Perfect Whip, <laughs> so we're gonna try to get some of that. So yeah, I think I'll go inside for some aircon. Uh, I'll just chill here for a bit until we're ready to go. I bought this Kuromi container from the 7-Eleven where all the scenario stuff is. It's only $55, so really cute and functional. Look at the ceiling. It's a rainbow. We also have like a Hello Kitty and a My Melody at, on the ceiling aside from the rainbow. Very cute. We are done having breakfast and now we're on the way to the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. So we're just gonna take the train there. And some people doing Tai Chi here. And my mom just joked, this is the only PE I got like an AN, but actually just one of the only PEs I got an AN. I really like Tai Chi as a PE. It was really relaxing and not the sweaty. So would highly recommend also. This is just the, the concert hall. The actual Chiang Kai-shek hall is like that way. So we're gonna try to see how we can get there. So we made it to the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. It's over there in the back. This is like the surrounding view as well. Really nice. There's also not a lot of people yet. So it's really nice to go here while it's still really calm. So this is the blue gate that's also really popular and in a lot of pictures as well. So you can enter through there to get to the memorial hall there. Or you can go through where we came from, which is from the station and through the concert hall. We are done with the Chiang Kai-shek memorial hall. So now we're uh, kind of like in the same area but we're on our way to the big GU Uniqlo store so they can go shopping. So it's almost, actually it's 11.05 na pala. So the store opened at 11, so now we're on our way to go shop. Based on experience, GU basically sells the same things like Uniqlo, but cheaper and the sizes are smaller. <laughs> so I actually rarely own anything from GU because of the sizing, but let's see if I can find something that'll fit me today. We made it to the Uniqlo store in Mingyao, which is somewhere in Daan. And we're gonna head to GU first because that's like the main goal of this trip. We are looking at clothes now. <laughs> very, very cute. Very GU. Fairly standard stuff, essentially. Me. We are done shopping at GU and damage has been done. This is the the big chupato full of clothes that we bought. <laughs> so we're just sitting at the couches waiting for my cousins to finish and then I think we're gonna go hit Uniqlo next. We are here at Uniqlo at the second floor and we're done shopping. That's the chupato for uh, for the Uniqlo purchases. So in case you guys uh, have noticed, we've been using these Shupato bags for like everything we buy. So it's basically an echo bag that like can open flat. So you can just put everything inside and pull the strings up and it's just super convenient. So we've been using this for like years, ever since we discovered it. And I can't imagine life without, you know, one of these bags. They're just so handy. So yeah, uh, we're just waiting for the cousins to finish paying for their purchases too. And I think we're gonna have lunch. A very late lunch, because it's already 1pm because we've been shopping all morning. Shopping can be tiring sometimes, but it's mostly fun because you do get to reward yourself with, you know, nice clothes, shoes, and whatever. What I like most about shopping here in Taiwan is that there are couches <laughs> there are couches everywhere so if you're tired or if you're waiting for your friends or family to finish shopping you can just sit down and just wait for them and your legs will get to rest 
it's been a lot of walking in this trip so far, so definitely appreciate the couches. <laughs> We're here at the fourth floor of the Uniqlo store in Mingyao, and apparently you can design your own t-shirt. There's this whole area where you can like select your design from the iPads, and then you can make your own custom shirts that no one else has. So that's pretty cool. I think this is like a, the UT section of the store where you know the tees are like graphic tees, collab tees, things like that. So I think it's really cool that you can make your own. Definitely like one of the reasons why you should come here. So we are done with the shopping and now we are having lunch at the Shabu Shabu restaurant. And I'm gonna show you guys our spread. It's pretty cool. So here we have unlimited beef and seafood. And we have two pots over here. And I myself got some sukiyaki. This is the first pot. <laughs> ah, it's making my camera all foggy. And then the second pot is over there. That's the sukiyaki and tonkotsu. It's really good. So we are done with lunch and we're back at GU to do some more shopping. Because my cousins want to get more stuff. And you might be wondering why I'm wearing a backpack. Well, I ended up buying a backpack from Kipling. It's super cute and super functional because it's holding all the clothes we bought this morning. And I don't have to use an echo bag that hurts my shoulders. So it's really, really cute and also useful. So we are done with GU and now we are at H&M where I bought this nice dress. So I'm going to buy it. It's so nice. I promised myself I wasn't gonna get anything, but this dress is just too nice. And there's also like a black version of it as well in a different like fabric. And I really liked it, so I'm gonna get them both. And they also have like a third version, which is like a floral, but I'm already a floral person, so I'm gonna leave it on the rack. Hey everyone, just an update. We're done with H&M. We definitely did some damage there. <laughs> and now we're headed back to the Shimending area, which is where our hotel is so we can drop everything off before anything else. So yeah, we basically just spent the entire day shopping. Um, kind of scared to see my statement next month. <laughs> but yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's not too bad. We are back in the Shimending area and it's raining. <laughs> Of all the things to happen, rain. And of course, we don't have any umbrellas. But we should have known because our tour guide yesterday told us that, you know, Northeast Taiwan is known for like raining most of the year. So we should have considered it. But yeah, it's, it's raining. <laughs> because it is raining, we took a short trip to ABC Mart where it's nice, cool, and most important than all, it is. it has a roof. <laughs> So yeah, let's look for some shoes. Hey guys, so we're in Shimending. We're trying some arcades or claw machines near the hotel. And they're a scam. Wait, I have to show you guys. So I was playing this crane game. So they pick it up and it threw it to the back. Like that's such a scam, man. I'm gonna try one and I want you guys to see how much of a scam it is. <laughs> so let's see this machine, for example. Oh no, my, my coin. <laughs> <laughs> Hell down. Okay, this machine is gonna scam me. Yeah. Okay, see, I'm gonna try to pick one up and to throw it to the back, I'm telling you. Look, the, the movement, it goes back. I'm gonna try not, I'm gonna try to pick up a teddy bear just to show you guys. I'm gonna spend coins for the, for the, for the content. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get the teddy bear, right, or something. And then, the, see, the movement goes back. Okay, I'm not gonna spend any more coins. I'm pretty sure that was clear. This isn't meant to be won. It throws the item back. Like, when I played a different machine, it picked up the stuffed toy and threw it all the way to the back. So yeah, these claw machines are such a scam. I can't believe I already wasted 30 30 dollars on this. So apparently some of it is not a scam. Isa got I know this toy. Because it bounced, but it, the movement was going back, right? Yeah, it bounced, bounced and then it bounced back back. See? I finally got one! After like 150 coins. <laughs> okay, Kyla's addicted. She wants more. She wants more too. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> 
No, I can give you I can give you a ten if you give me two fives. How can you get it? It's so close. Okay, okay. First street food of the night. We got some tanghulu. Isa's eating it. <laughs> Isa, how is it? It's good. It's good though. Hey guys, so uh, I tried the tang hulu myself and it's still warm so I don't think I enjoyed it very much to be honest I wish it was a bit more cool um, and the sugar was still kind of melting so yeah I wish it was a bit more cool so right now we're just in Shimanding hanging around really kind of want to see the street where it's like super duper crowded and just full of like street food so yeah really excited for that yeah, so aside from food, there are like knickknacks that you can buy here as well. And of course, we own dogs, so this has really piqued our interest first, more than anything else. Look, more dog! More dog things! <gasps> so cute! They have like fluffy things that like can I create the dog. Oh, so cute! So we were looking for like a really densely populated area and I guess it's as dense as it can get, right? Sweet potato cheese ball Chicken, just lots of like assorted food here Fresh cheese corn Yum Sausages Scallion pancake and this one's like very popular. Oh, it's a fruit stand. I think they sell juice as well. We're getting some dinner here. They're selling some scallion pancakes, some Chinese omelets, radish cake, and hot lake noodles. So I myself got the bacon uh, cheese omelet. Really excited to try it. Got some milk tea at this place called Come By. Because yes, we should come by their milk tea. And basically we're here because they have like a Genshin promo going on. And yeah, so the cups are like Genshin themed. We saw people walking around with like clay cups, so I'm a clay main, right? I have to get it. So this is what the store looks like. And then yeah, they have some clean jean materials. Yeah, we all got like the same milk tea, which is milk tea number two with bubble and taro balls. I just realized something about the jean standy. Is that not the censored version of her outfit? Like, really? That's kind of interesting. Because I played Genshin in like the earlier days. So actually, I'm not too familiar with the censored outfit versions of of her um, and Amber and the others but I'm pretty sure this is a censored version because her, her, you know, her chest area is very much covered up and no, there's no, no clean! I think only it's the big one the big one? bruh <laughs> no! Yeah, the others are not clay themed. We're so disappointed. So we're just gonna stop by Watson's really quickly to buy some soap and some souvenirs. So let's go. Let's go inside the Watson's. So for these hair coloring products, all of the shades are black pink girls. <laughs> so we are done with Watson's and we're ready here uh, at the hotel. They gave us a lot of freebies at Watson's because I bought a lot of the Pokemon uh, Senka Perfect Whip. So we got free washi tape for every bottle. So I'm really, really happy. So yeah, I guess that's it for this day of the Taiwan trip. We'll be going up now to eat our street food. 
and rest and shower so we can go home tomorrow. Hi everyone! It's our last day here in Taipei and we are at the airport. It's 7.20 a.m. and we're just waiting for the check-in counter to open. So there's quite a line already. As you can see, like behind me there's a line. And even in front of us, this is the line in front of us. So everyone here is just waiting for check-in to open at 7.40. So we have like 20 minutes to go. Hey guys, so we're done with check-in at the counter. We're also done with immigration and the security check. So now we're just at the boarding gate waiting. And the boarding gate here is so nice. Like it's so roomy. And I love like the natural lighting because of the giant windows. That's definitely a plus. All right, so today I'll be giving my final thoughts on Taiwan. And overall, I had so much fun. Like the country is like really pretty, really nice. And I love the people because they're so friendly and patient and uh, yeah they're really welcoming shopping was also like super duper fun uh, because they had like nicer styles compared to what we had back home and the prices were also like more affordable or you know just the same but see at least like the quality and the design is like way nicer and they also have like a lot of japanese products here so if you can't really like go to japan you can definitely get some of your favorites here at like donkey or watson's the sightseeing and the tour was also like really nice. I really liked the lantern experience, you know, writing your wishes and then, you know, setting the lantern on fire. <laughs> or no, not on fire, but like lighting it up so you can fly and float. And that was like a really cute, uh, was, like sentimental experience that we got to do. I also really liked the Jofun street area. So there were like a lot of food, a lot of souvenirs to get. It's just really like lively and bustling. And I thought it was really, really like a cool place to be in. But my favorite part of the trip is definitely the food. Uh, I really like that we got to eat so much like Taiwanese food and street food throughout the trip, which is very like different than maybe if you go to like Japan where maybe we eat street food like me one day. But here we ate street food for like a whole three days. So it's really, really um, fun. And I really like that we got to try different kinds of food. So my favorites are number one, the onion pie. That was so good. I don't think I was able to get it on video, but I really like this onion pie. It's basically a gyoza filling, but in like a, a thicker consistency with the bun. It's a bit more dumpling, like Chinese dumpling like. And second, I really like the peanut roll ice cream. The one we got at Shifun. It's like ice cream, peanut powder, and then they roll it up. So one thing I also learned throughout this trip is that I really, really like peanut powder just add peanut powder to something i'll love it like immediately i really like the milk tea as well i feel like even if you buy like the cheap ones uh, you'll definitely get like quality milk tea uh, xing fu tang really like lived up to the expectation and i would definitely come back for more <laughs> Let's end this vlog on a high note. I bought some dumplings from like this vending machine. So you place an order in, then they're gonna steam some frozen dumplings for you. So I bought like two sets. So this one is the dinosaur uh, set. Here, the dinosaur shaped dumplings. They're so cute. So, so, so cute. And then the other set of dumplings I got are these like assorted kind. There's like a pig. A duck, a panda, and then a frog. I'm so excited to try them. They look really, really cute. Hmm, it's good. But there's nothing inside, it's just plain. Hmm. I love sesame. This is sesame, it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna try the duck next. Oh, it's not a duck, it's a chick. All right, uh, I think it's just custard. Let's see. Mmm. Salted egg. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna try the frog. I'm just gonna try them all <laughs> before we leave. Mm -hmm. I think I like this the most. It's taro. The last one's the pig. Let's try it. I like that too. It's red bean. So I guess that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys again so much for supporting my videos. And if you like my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get updates when I post new videos. So yeah, I guess that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.
Bye.